Hello all, today we are going to see threat modeling security process where potential threats are identified, categorized and analyzed. It can be proactive measure during development or design stage or it can be a reactive measure once product has been deployed. How we are going to identify? We have to focus on assert, attacker or software some organization attempt to identify threats to the valuable asset some organization identify pot potential attackers based on the motivation goals techniques procedures used by the attackers some organization focus on the software that they develop okay once we identify how we are going to categorize it we have a ready-made stride model S yes, stands for spoofing, T tampering or repudiation, I information disclosure, D denial of service, E elevation of privilege. What is spoofing? Gaining access by using a false identity. It affects the authenticity. What is tampering? Modifying data in transit or in storage. It affects the integrity. Repudiation. Denying that an action was performed by an individual it affects the non-repudiation information disclosure revealing or distributing information to unauthorized individual it affects the confidentiality denial of service preventing authorized use use of a resource it affects the availability elevation of privilege gaining unauthorized access rights or privileges affects the authorization we have other models too. For example, PASTA. PASTA stands for Process for Attack Stimulation and Threat Analysis. There are seven stages in PASTA. Also, we can identify by diagramming potential attacks. First, we have to create high level diagram. Identify all the technologies involved. Identify the attacks. This will lead to perform reduction analysis. Reduction analysis is nothing but decomposition process. In decomposition process, we were able to identify the trust boundaries, data flow path, input points, location where external input is received, privileged operation. After that, we can declare the security policy security foundation and security assumptions okay we have identified we have categorized what we are left with we have to prioritize and then take a response how we are going to prioritize we have to rank the threats based on the potential damage and occurrence how we can do it? We can use DREAD model. D stands for damage potential. R for reproducibility. E for exploitability. A for affected user. D for discoverability. Okay. After finding the ranking, we have to respond to it. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye.